So we want to test the claim that um, the proportion of men who own cats is larger than the proportion of women who own cats, and we're asked to find the test statistic. So um, I, I'm doing tests. I know I'm doing proportions because they're telling me telling me proportions, so it's not means. So, and I've got two of them. So on the Rossman Chance applet, I want to go to two proportions, and then I got a little bit of work to do here. I've got to I've got to think about um, well, let's see. I got to think about what's the claim. So the claim is that the proportion of men who own cats is larger than the proportion of women who own cats. So um, HO is going to be, um, well, actually, if I can do this right on Rossman Chance, so I encourage you to write this down. Um, I'm going to do a test of significance. Uh, th this, the book that David, or not David Rossman, um, John Blink, what his first name is, um, Rossman uses, is, uh, uses pi instead of p, because he thinks, says p hat, p's, p values, so just know that this is P, the, the population proportion. And what we're trying to say is, well, the claim is that the proportion of men who own cats is higher than the proportion of women who own cats. So the null hypothesis would be there's no difference, right? So that in case would be equal zero. And the claim is that the proportion of men who own cats is larger than the proportion of women. So we're gonna go with the right tail test and we're gonna make group one be the men and group two be the women. Um, I know there's 180 men. I know there's 100 women. But then what we got to worry about is accounts. And in this problem, they didn't tell me a count. They told me a percentage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find I'm going to find 55% uh, of 180. Um, let's see. Let's clear this. So 0. 0.55 times 180. And 99. So my counts for the men is 99. If this had been a decimal value, I would have to round down or up follow the rounding rules. Uh, it won't. It won't matter too much as far as the answer because it's a pretty large sample. And they're going to do the same thing for the women, but that's pretty easy because 25% of 100 is is 25. Okay, we're going to calculate that. We have got uh, we've got our significance test all set up. Let's calculate it. And this applet is telling me that the test statistic, notice it's a z-score, is 4.84. Let's see what the calculator tells me. So I'm going to do stat, test, and I got a two proportion z-test, so choice six. And then they ask me what are my counts, just like the applet. So let's see, 66 and 180. It's important to put them in the same order because if you reverse your order, you're going to get a negative z-score. And chances are Rossman chance would, or my open math would mark that off. Um, let's see. And 25 and 100, right? And I said right-tailed, but it won't matter for the, t, the test statistic, the z-score. That's only matters for the p-value. And this is also telling me 5.84, two decimal places. So I'm sure I'm going to get this right. Okay, and I did. So that's how, that's the only part they're looking for. They're not really looking for you to write the HO and the H1, but you kind of do, you have to do it. And then, and they aren't looking for the P value and using applets, they'll, t they'll tell us that. Okay, so I hope that helps you solve this.